This is the second in my California bucket list series where I showcase some of the most iconic experiences you can have in the state of California. In the first episode, we hiked to the Hollywood sign, and in this episode, we're in San Francisco to walk across the Golden Gate Bridge. Be sure to let me know what other experiences you would like to see in the comments, and let's jump into California Bucket List Episode 2. On a recent trip to San Jose with my family, we decided to make the one hour drive north to the Golden Gate Bridge. The best parking area is near the Welcome Center, but that's a small lot with only about 20 spots, and if it's full, you can head south a little bit more to park near Battery East. This parking lot has a lot more spaces, so it's easier to find a spot here. Today I'm in San Francisco with the whole family for California bucket list number two, walking across the Golden Gate Bridge. From the Battery East parking area is a short walk up to the Welcome Center and the cafe. Also, don't leave anything of value in your car as there's been lots of break-ins in this part of San Francisco. There's lots of information plaques to tell you about the bridge and its construction here, but if you're like us and you want to walk across it, this is where the walk starts. Alright guys, here we go. We're going to go onto the bridge. Yay! And have some olives. Spanning 1.7 miles, walking across this engineering marvel offers spectacular views, photo opportunities, and a chance to connect with San Francisco's history. Here are a few notes that will help you to prepare for your time on the bridge. I definitely recommend dressing in more layers than you would think for this walk. Both of the times I've done it, the wind was blowing like crazy, and I was glad I had brought a jacket. Jack, do you want to touch the Golden Gate Bridge? While it can be hard to find parking on the weekends, the weekend is actually the best time to walk on the bridge. This is because on the weekends, they split the walking and the biking lanes. People biking across the bridge will take the west side and people walking will take the east side. Of course, you'll find some bikers who don't know this and who are on the east side, but it's a lot less than you'll find on a weekday. You guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah, are you having fun, Jack? No. No, uh, you say it with a big smile. As you're walking across, you'll go past the bridge's two big towers. The path actually goes around them, and this is a great spot for photo opportunities. Often I find that people walk to the first tower and then make that their turnaround point and head back. This is a great way to do it if you don't have a lot of time as it allows you to see the bridge, get some views of Alcatraz, and go under the massive towers. I can't really say anything because it's so loud and windy, but this is really, really cool. At least to do once. Along the way, you'll get some great views of Angel Island and Alcatraz Island. I have videos of both of those that you can see in the description if you're interested. Also, we saw someone who was taking a picture with their phone and then the wind knocked it out of their hands and they dropped it. Be very careful if you're taking phone pictures while you're here. Your speed. We don't even register with the stroller. As long as they got snacks, they're happy. After crossing the first tower, you'll walk for a good 10-15 to 15 minutes before you make it to the second tower. Here's where you'll cross into Marin County and make your way off of the bridge. This is another great photo opportunity as the bridge goes around the tower and it's just impressive to see the towers from below. We've almost made it all the way to the end! When you see the hill on the left hand side, that's the Battery Spencer area which is one of my favorite places to take pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge. I don't know what officially qualifies as walking across the Golden Gate Bridge. I think we've done it right now, but we're just gonna go up to the Vista Point and then turn around from there. Many people were turning around before getting to the Vista Point, but I think that's the best end location for the bridge as it gives you a fantastic photo opportunity. <laughs> good job, we made it all the way across the bridge. Yeah. All right, good job, Mama. If you have a car, you can drive and park here, and you can walk on the bridge from here as well if you want to do it north to south instead of south to north. I like this view of the Golden Gate Bridge as it allows you to see how big it is with the cars going under the towers. We took a couple pictures and then started the 1.7 mile walk back across the bridge. Don't leave yet though, I want to show you another one of my favorite places in San Francisco that you should see while you're here. If you happen to be here on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, be sure to walk or drive down to Fort Point. Whoa, big tunnel! Constructed in 1853 by the Army, it's a masonry stronghold that was designed to protect the San Francisco Bay. Inside of the fort, you're allowed to explore to your heart's content with many different floors and exhibits in some of the old rooms. 
Located on the south side of the Golden Gate Bridge, one of my favorite things to do here is to climb all the way to the third floor. Once you're up there, you'll get some of the best views you'll ever see of the Golden Gate Bridge. From here, you're looking up on it from a lower vantage point, and it's amazing to see this engineering marvel from this view. If you're here when Fort Point is open, which is usually only Saturday and Sunday, maybe Friday, you have to come. I mean, how do you beat views like this? Another highlight for me is the lighthouse that sits on the third floor and that was built here in 1864. It hasn't been used since the 1930s, but it's amazing to see. Just spend a good amount of time walking around up here and taking in the different views of downtown San Francisco, the lighthouse, and the Golden Gate Bridge. Check what are all those, buddy? Ammo balls? <laughs> Those are too heavy to hold, buddy. The balls go in it. The balls go in it, and then what happens? Kaboom! 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 <laughs> After exploring Fort Point, you can walk along the water and go back up to where you parked, completing your time in San Francisco. That's it for California Bucket List Episode 2. Hopefully you had fun with us. We'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Thanks for watching the Bucket List series and let me know what you'd like to see on it next in the comments.